Young Pharaoh sent me in another world chalice list. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Every time I see this man's world chalice list, I lose my mind. Because there is so... M this man is on a whole nother level of existence, I feel. I think the concepts and stuff that he comes up with are nuts. And I think they're so cool because we get the chance to see a different take on things. So you're probably looking at this list right now and you're like, what the fuck is this? Well, this is Dinosaur World Chalice. And when you're on a whole nother level of existence like this guy, I think you get the chance to see the world in a different perspective with interactions and things that you can do. And I, I think that's what this deck actually is. So, a few things to point out here. So, we play one copy of Carmageddon. So, this card battles a fire monster during damage calculation. This card gains 1,000 attack during damage calculation only. But you can banish this card from your graveyard to special summon from your hand or deck one level 7 or lower dragon type normal monster in face up defense mode. So, you want to see Extender Guy here, Foolish Barrel him, drop our, or drop him, banish him, and you get the ability to special summon Kamori Dragon, a vicious fire breathing dragon whose wicked flame corrupts the souls of victims. So, when I first initially saw this, I was like, hmm, like standard dragon you know we can take advantage of the alpi engine no don't even need to you are just kind of going to be using this as essential stepping stones to kind of get to the places that you need to be so i do think that that's one thing to understand while you could be exploiting the alpi and agrapane stuff you don't really need to i i think the deck is good enough as it is for that. So let's kind of dig into this and kind of see what's going on here in terms of things. So we're playing three Ash Blossom. I know a few people might make the argument and this is this is saying something about the deck. Um, you need to have viable hand traps. I do know that a few people are going to be like, well, if you bog down the deck too much with hand traps, uh, you might run into consistency issues. I don't think that's an issue in today's metagame. I, I get why people might think that, but things like Phantasmi and Ash, like, you get sculpting from Phantasmi and you get the ability to be able to play the game with Ash. So yes, I think having the appropriate set of hand traps um, will aid you. Um, I just, I think people are going to make an argument for the wrong reasons on this. Uh, we do have the one copy of the Carbageddon. Um, like I said, you can literally play, it almost feels like any normal monster that you really want uh, within the range of being level 4, at least to start your combos. Um, I think outside of that, you might start running into issues if you try to do anything else cheeky with this guy, but once again, you're playing this because he is an extender to get that normal monster out to allow you to start playing the game. Uh, we have one copy of Distrudo. We've seen how good Distrudo is in the past, and I do think we're going to continue to see this card be abused. Literally, the fact that this makes your whole Synchro deck live, like, no no issues. Like, play the one-up. Don't play more than that, because once again, consistency issues are going to nip you in the butt. Now, we do have the triple copies of Effect Veiler, much like I said with Ash, along with the triple copies of uh, Phantasmi. That sculpting option, that ability to draw into these, um, if you opt for going second uh, to attempt to build a board or something, like you have options built into the main deck to counteract the metagame. And once again, like we like strategies like that that do benefit us to do that. And Phantasmi gives us that option. Now we do play triple copies of the World Chalice Fairy. So when this card is normal or special, summon, you can add one World Chalice monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard to add this card back from your graveyard to your hand. But the thing we care about here is normal or special, go get the Fat Chalice or go get Guard Drag. It, it just really depends on which combo piece you need for the time. Now we are playing the Dinosaur Engine. With the Dinosaur Engine, we do play Overtex Coltos. Um, getting the dump off of this to search for the evolution bill to set up disruption through the form of Big Papa T-Rex over here is literally fine. Like, it's, it's amazing how splashable this dinosaur engine is. So, we have two copies of Overtex, triple copies of the Overraptor, getting the ability to either send it to the graveyard or add it to the hand, uh, depending on the situation you find yourself in, is pretty good. 
then we only play the one ultimate conductor. Um, the dinosaur engine, while it might be, um, the numbers might not feel right to you, but the one ultimate conductors, I mean, if you're able to kind of play around things, like, you're playing this in the one pill to kind of ensure that you're safe, depending on your ratios and things. It, it, it's semantics. Now, we have one copy of World Chalice Guard Dragon. Uh, card effect, the effect is activated targets are like months for quick effects, send the scarf from your hand to the graveyard, and negate that activation. But, just another name, it's probably the, the best one next to Chalice. You guys know what Chalice does. Leaves the field, special summon two World Chalice monsters from your deck, except for himself. But, super fat, extenders, yeah, it's everything we want. We played the one copy of the Komori Dragon. Like I said, this is your, your card that you're going to use up here with our friend Karmageddon to set up our field, to do the cool things that we are aiming to do. Uh, we do play the triple copies of Called by the Grave. Um, I do think that, I, I, yeah, you have to play this. Like, I'm looking at this deck and I'm like, man, like, it would really suck if you're just, like, yeah, if you're hand-trapped, like, you, you're just in such a shit position. Like, outside of Called by the Grave, like, I think the combos that you do with this deck are going to be massively fucked by hand traps. And that's saying something, like, considering how fragile this deck is, um, I gotta give it to World Chalice, though. No matter how bad they seem in a format or something like that, they always seem to kind of make their way back and show up. So, I. But yes, you you are gonna have a max on this. We do play the one copy of Card Destruction. I also think that this is going to be mandatory for the most part. Um, looking at this deck, I see a lot of brick. Uh, card Destruction is going to get you out of that brick, and you're going to go if your opponent ashes card destruction because they think that you have a bad hand or you've just opened up a shit ton of dangers congratulations enjoy your free value you did it now we only played the one copy of the double evolution bill i think a few people are gonna be skeptical of this they're gonna be like oh why, why aren't we why aren't we testing two i or I, I one is fine like you have double targets over here if you need to mill one you can bring out one you've also got the ultimate conductor you can also hard summon the conductor if you really need to. So, you do have options. I just... You have the other copy in the side if you need to have access to it. That was something that Young Pharaoh wanted to make sure of when he built this. Down here, Rest of Spells, play one Foolish Barrel. Dropping Carmageddon or Overtex for plays is really good. Triple copies of Fossil Dig. Yeah, getting to the Oviraptor to start combos is really good. We have one copy of Monster Reborn. One copy of Monster Reborn, too. We have triple copies of Infinite and Permanence, and we have one copy of Solemn Judgment, wrapping up the main deck. Now, this is World Chalice, you're still a combo deck, you're still trying to do really cute things with your deck, so understand that's what you're getting yourself into when you want to play this deck, is cool combos go the deck. Alright, down here in the extra deck. We have one copy of Summon Sorceress with Reproticus. This has just kind of become the standard norm at this point. God, getting into Summon Sorceress, being able to clone uh, a machine to bring out this guy would just be the absolute nuts, but it's never going to happen. We have one copy of Ningrisu. We have one copy of Link Spider. Hey, normal. We have one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. One copy of Phoenix. One copy of Griffin. We do have one copy of Imduk. We have one copy of Ib and two copies of Aram. We have one copy of Abyss Dweller. Then we have one copy of Zeta. We have one copy of Dragster, and we have one Borlode Savage Dragon. Wrapping up the extra deck. Um, I do think having access to both of these because Distrito exists is actually really cool for this deck. Now, up here in the side deck, we do play more dinosaur cards to, depending on the matchup, bring them in if we need. So we have one more copy of Ultimate Conductor. We have two copies of Prankatops. We have one copy of Double Evolution Bill. We have triple copies of Shared Ride. We have triple copies of Twin Twister. We have two copies of Evenly Matched. And we have triple copies of There Can Only Be One. Wrapping up this beautiful deck. Young Pharaoh, thank you for sending this in. I, I, I really like seeing the innovations and stuff. And as we have a ban list approaching too, I'm pretty sure that people are going to try concepts like this as well just the, we're kind of in the the boring point in the format where like we see something like this like oh that's really cool and innovative you know so give things time 
and as we get there. But once again, thanks, Chunk Pharaoh. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this list. I think this is about as interesting as it's going to get in terms of the spice factor at the moment. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.